Okay. Now you see, there's nothing all exciting about baby fine hair, or straight hair, or straight curly hair. Uh, like this is how I wake up to minus the uh, ointment. So today I'm gonna use Jam's Extra Hole. It, it's not um, firm. It's oily. This brand. This to manage it too. I go outside, but I wanted you to see. It doesn't do nothing but sit on top of my hair. Uh, but it does uh, manage it. And if I brush it out, this is what happens. Uh, my hair is short, but it's, look, up here it's even balder when I don't have uh, anything on it. And what I've been doing is massaging my scalp. Uh, when your hair is short, it's, scalp is hard to uh, protect uh, from elements such as insects, dirt, bugs. Uh, and so this has been going on and off for several years, and this is because um, uh, medication in ba balance hormones. Uh, and I'm the only one in the family who had this issue, so it's not hereditary, so that's what they tried to say in the beginning. But I don't believe them, because somebody in our family on both sides should have had the issues that I'm having with hair growth. Well, they do when they have fine hair like this, real, real thin and fine. And believe it or not, when I was younger, my hair used to be thicker and longer than this. Um, listen to other people thinking that I needed a perm or I needed a jerry curl. Um, it may have been the variant of reason why I have so many hair problems other than my hormones are uh, out balance due to cushion disease. I know I said this more than one time. So this is the long-term effect. I may have uh, won the battle uh, with surviving because I was at the last stage of cushion disease. But it's an ongoing process because it did the surgery, non-invasive service did not make me 100% at all. Uh, I still have fluctuating blood pressure, uh, not blood pressure, my blood pressure is still not out of control. But uh, I do have, I suffer from the low sugar diabetes more so than I do the up. And when before that, I was suffering with both. It was drastic, it was uncontrolled. So now if I don't have at least my sugar level above 90, between 80 and 90, I still feel faint and about to pass out. So everybody's body is different. Uh, they would consider this normal. But if you see the baldness and th thinness, but it did improve it by me managing it with some type of oils. So what I've been doing the past couple of months from June, July, August, and now we almost into September, but we're in August. I've been, um, see this curly straight hair? I've been uh, massaging my scalp. Massaging scalp does help stimulate, yes, uh, blood circulation, so to promote hair growth. And it has helped uh, a whole lot because uh, some of the spots were smooth. You can see through my scalp, but it was smooth in a lot of those areas. I do suffer with some, uh, they say, suborbic dermatitis. I just started getting that all of a sudden. I didn't have it before, so I don't know what's up with that. The scalp sensitivity, soft, pulsy, then it drop and scalp. Oh, it, it's very painful. But um, I'm still focusing on my abdominal because your abdominal, this part right here, it has to be small so you won't, uh, so it can control heart disease 
and other problems that diabetes uh, I do know that it has come a long ways over the years but I'm on the alkaline diet now and so my stomach fluctuate but this little pouch right here is what I have from the cushion disease list left over it used to be worse than this so I've been on the alkaline I got to get rid of this sagging fat and this is what I'll be working on. See, the invention. I used to have more than one row of invention. Uh, now I don't. Yeah, if I wear a girdle, it'll slim it down and make me look perfect or whatever. But I do need to get the. When you think, when you look at this part right here, and they be telling you that most of it be waste. It don't just be fat and tissues to be bowel that stays in your body. And so they'll tell you, oh, you fat. But if you do a detox or alkaline diet, it'll start slimming down and taking some of this load off. Um, I have just woke up. I have not. Only thing I've had is my blood pressure medicine, uh, which is correct 80 in spironolactone to help her grow. And uh, this with the uh, hypertension white wa water weight and um, I have to eat but I know my stomach hurts real bad this morning and what it ended up I needed to go to the bathroom whereas in the beginning dealing with diabetes they had destroyed my uh, dumping system where I wasn't a regular uh, by having diabetes so I encourage you to control what you eat and try to maintain or lose the weight because it can destroy your intestines or your main organs and prevent um, issues where you have problems with urination and bowel dumping. And so by me being on an alkaline diet, um, I started trying to Dr. Stevie's meals. Uh, I have not started the pills for her growth nails and stuff like that. I will be starting it once I find the package. I misplaced the package. My son going to kill me, you all. But once I start that, um, we're going to see, the, I'm going to go through, through the progress try to go through the progress on a day to day basis what I do. Um, I'm more lazy, so hopefully you enjoy the videos. Please like, share, and follow. And follow my hair versus hair growth because you notice know on some of the videos it grew back and it fell off. So this is the process where it's falling out. And I don't care what remedy it is. If my your hormone balance is off, I don't care what remedies you have, you're going to run across those, those complications of um, Falling out or shedding period or breakage or weakness of the scalp. scalp. And uh, this time it wasn't that much of a hair shed on my brush. So that's pretty good. Um, it, usually I just wrap my hair. If I don't wrap it, I'll just comb it back like this. And if people talk about me, oh well. <laughs> um, keep living, they'll have complications too. But uh, in essence, um, please like, follow, and share. And motto for watching. Thank you.